Okay, well, um, I decided to do a video of me cathing my Indiana pouch because I know that there are several people who are contemplating getting the surgery um, and getting an Indiana pouch and several people have also asked me how do you pee? How does it all work? What does it look like? Um, and so I decided to do this video for anybody who's just curious or is contemplating getting the surgery and if you do this is what your life is going to look like after the surgery. Okay, so um, I have already completely washed my hands um, and I opened my catheter before I did that. Um, so here's the catheter. Um, it is a long coup de tip. Um, this is a coup de tip um, and you want to use the stiffer ones because the softer ones are too, um, they're just too flimsy and they don't do very well. Um, and then also you'll need um, a thing of lubricating jelly or just lube. So what you do is, sorry I normally open my lube first, but what you do is you take your catheter and you stick it in the lube just like that and you want to get it all nice and lubed up and now the doctor told me when he was teaching me how to do this um, if you need extra lube just put some in your belly button but I've come to find out that that doesn't work out so well unless you're lying down so I just put the lube on like this because I don't have self lubing catheters if you do have self lubing catheters then that's great I wish I had some but I got these free through the VA and I went online and actually looked for these and they're about 20 bucks a pop so unless you can find them cheaper I suggest getting a different coup de tip. Um, but anyway, so I just put lube on like that. But you don't want to go up too far because you have to, um, you know, you need to be able to push in and with too much lube it'll move it around. So you're going to just, oh yeah, and I also I forgot to say that I am actually going into this container into my sink because um, my bathroom and the whole camera situation just did not work out that way. So I'm going to be going into this container. So you put it into your belly button, you put it straight up, and you just go straight in. Um, and you'll get a little bit of resistance, but that's normal. So actually, as soon as I go in, your pouch might be different. But as soon as I go in, mine starts to twist and turn. So you kind of got to give it a little bit of room to let it twist. I'll try to move so you can see. Um, not You probably won't be able to see the twisting, but see, it's already twisting. So you just kind of go in, and if you get resistance and you're having a hard time, just stop, take a deep breath, breathe out, and let your muscles relax, and that'll help you get your catheter into your pouch better. So you go, um, each, oh, I've already tapped, <laughs> and now I'm going to the bathroom. So each person is different depending on how full your bladder is. If your bladder or pouch or whatever is full, more full, you'll tap sooner. Um, but you want to push in. See, now I'm going more. I pushed in more. So you go and basically until it stops. Sorry guys, I'm peeing in front of you. Normally I wouldn't make a video of me peeing and put it on the internet, but <laughs> I figure for the case it's okay. So you're going to keep going in until your catheter is about this far in. You don't want to go too far in, but you don't want to go too far out, obviously. But yeah, until you have about about two and a half inches exposed. See, I still got a little bit coming out, so I'm just going to push in a little bit more. So then when you're done, you just kind of pull it out. And you'll get mucus in your pouch, too, for a while, because your pouch is obviously made of colon. Um, and also don't be upset or surprised if you get some blood, a little bit of blood, that's normal. But obviously if you're bleeding too much you want to call your doctor. So I'm done pretty much and you just pull out so easily like such until you're done. And then I just take the container or the little package that my stuff was in and I put it in and then I just throw it away. So yeah, this is, this is what your life will be like um, if you get the surgery and 
this is all the stuff you'll need and just in case anybody is curious um, this right here is uh, I'm wiping off the lube that came out this right here is on my scars to help them heal better has nothing to do with the surgery so anyways um, that is what your life is like after Indiana pouch surgery so if you have any questions let me know